What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Uh, I want to start off with, don't forget to go down, comment, like, subscribe down below uh, on everything you might like or don't like. Uh, let me know what's up and I'll get back to you as soon as I can on that. Uh, but to start off today, we got our parts back from powder coating. We got our two hubs back and we got our two caliper mounting brackets back as you can see and our two calipers one's still in the box there got those back today so we're going to be installing this kit on the shop truck which is a 96 12 valve uh 3500 converted to a single rear wheel all right now for you guys out there with dualies i don't have the hub listed on my website yet but it is coming soon so don't worry you will be able to get this for your dually truck as well but right now, this kit is available for raffle off, all right, on my website. All you have to do is buy a product on the website, and you get five tickets at your chance to win this product here I've got behind me, which is a Wellwood Big Break kit for a single rear wheel uh, application, okay? So don't forget to do that. Go get a chance to win this wonderful kit to install in your truck, and this video is going to be to how to install this kit once you do get it, or the lucky winner receives the kit and they can install their truck or if you purchase it from the website you can also install it on your truck as well and you don't have to worry about reading instructions or anything like that you can just watch the video it'll be short and it'll be quick and you guys can install it on your own all right stay tuned i'm going to set this up on the tripod and let's get to it first things first we're going to get this truck jacked up get the wheels off the ground and take the wheels off and then we're going to get into taking the hub apart with the, or the drum hub apart and uh, we'll get to see how all that's done and then we'll talk uh, our way through installing this that way it's nice and easy for you guys to install step by step. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feel so first things first that we're going to do is we're going to hook up a hose to this bleeder valve and we're going to loosen it up and let it, the brake fluid uh, drain out of it and then we're going to take this bolt off up here with these two bolts to get the pressure off that solenoid and then we're going to try to take this uh, drum off and then once we get that drum off we'll be able to do a lot more from there and so we're going to do that first uh, and we'll get to it. Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Hustle out, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low You can still go Even when you Feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Alright, so now that we have our hub off, alright, or the drum, I should say, we're gonna take all these bolts out here of the axle. We're gonna tear this cover off, we're gonna take it off, and then we're gonna look at the axle bolt. We're gonna take that out, we're gonna slide this off, and then we're gonna take the bolts apart from behind the drum there's four of them off this hub and then put our new hub on to clean it all up and everything and put our new hub on so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take like i said these bolts out to get to that axle nut in here
guys, um, first time I've taken this rear end apart, and I will say, uh, don't do this. Uh, they use a screwdriver to tighten it and loosen it, and just do me a favor, guys, there's actually a socket for this. Uh, don't do this. You're ruining the integrity of this nut, and you don't know what that could lead to down the road, whether you lose a wheel or an axle or, you know, something catastrophic could really happen doing that, so... You know, please don't do that. I should have looked into that when I bought this rear end. The guy said it was rebuilt. I didn't think they would have gone as far as destroying the axle nut. So we're going to try to go into town uh, and get one of those if we can, or at least try to order one. Uh, hopefully we can, and we'll see what's up with that. But we'll do that later. We're going to get this hub the rest of the way off, and then we'll go from there. Uh, but yeah, guys, please do not do this. This is dangerous uh, and terrifying all at the same time. So please do not use a screwdriver thinking you can pound it off. That is not acceptable and honestly this was something I should have looked into when buying this rear end. But anyways, we're gonna continue with taking the hub off. Uh, I added a bucket in here because you're gonna lose a little bit of gear oil. As you can see, I got some gear oil coming out right here. It's gonna be a little more when I pull this whole hub off. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna, I'm gonna go get some new gloves real quick. We're gonna pull this hub off and then we're gonna go from there, okay? quick wipe down uh, and then put this in here to keep anything from going in the axle housing itself um, the rest of this is gonna be fairly easy we're just gonna undo these four bolts right here on this side with the impact and then we'll be able to try to wiggle or beat our might have to hit it with the BF uh, BFH but if we have to we're gonna do it and we're gonna get this off because we're not gonna use this anymore okay Pose here so we don't make a huge mess. Alright, now we just gotta disconnect the parking brake. It should be a fairly easy task. This is just a cable right here. Now, you won't actually need this anymore for this kit because um, this does not have a parking brake on it. This kit does not. However, if you are uh, looking for a parking brake application, I will be offering one on the website eventually. Uh, that will mount to the other side of where these bolts are right here and that way you can still have a parking brake with your uh, brake or with your disc brakes uh, I've been getting a lot of customer complaints about that um, with people saying that they would, wouldn't would buy it because there's not an e-brake for it and whatnot and I do understand so I'll do my best to uh, there we go Try to get that up as soon as I can for you guys. That way you guys can have a parking brake as well. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take Alright, so we got our lovely drums off And our hubs off So now what we're gonna do and I'm gonna clean up all this gunk right here. Take these bolts out. I might have to hit this one, it will come out just fine, but I might have to hit these other ones with the hammer. And then we're gonna go into putting our other hub on, test fitting it after everything's all cleaned up. And we're gonna make sure everything's kosher. And then, really, before too late into the install, we might have to see if we can get ourselves a new axle nut. Again, please do not do this, guys. I don't understand why people put their life in their hands of a screwdriver because. This could lead to cat, uh, catastrophe 
Uh, I'm surprised I've been driving so long with it, to be honest with you, without some kind of failure. So remember, be sure there is an actual socket for this so that you guys don't hurt yourself to purchase. And, uh, you know, you might never use it again, but your buddies might, you know? Okay, let's get into it. So we called uh, the parts store and they have two of these in. So we're going to go get two of them uh, along with a new keyway for this side. That way we can continue doing what we're doing here. So we're going to take a quick pause. going to put the camera on the charger, eat some food, and I'm going to go grab some of these uh, nylon. Or they're called nylon? No, they're, they're an axle nut. Uh, we'll go get two more of these. I'm going to finish putting this hump. Alright, what's going on guys? So... We went ahead and we picked up some new uh, axle nuts. Uh, they're a lock nut instead of the keyway, so you won't need to replace your keyway if you get this. Uh, it was like 12 bucks per at Napa. Uh, so I had to go get those, which were unfortunately an hour and a half drive to go get. But we got them, so we're gonna continue doing where, where we left off. And what is going on everybody all right so we now have it down to the spindle i showed you guys how to take it all apart all right now we're going to install this kit on the truck all right so we have our caliper caliper mounting bolts bracket mounting bolts hub front bearing rear bearings already in it we have the rotor with eight of these bolts right here and see that little washer that's on there it's cone shaped you want the cone towards the top of the rotor and it's going to be torqued down to 25 foot pounds i'm going to start with 20 and then go up to 25 and then we have our nylon lock nut for the axle itself to go on here but guys don't forget go to the link in the description below this is your chance to enter to win this kit to put it on your own truck all you have to do is buy a product and you get five entries at this uh, brake kit for your second gen dodge ram with a dana 70 or a dana 80 rear end single rear wheel application all right let's get to putting this uh, kit on and show you guys how it goes from there so first things first i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put on some gloves uh for the lube I'm going to be using some assembly loop and then I'm going to actually put some gear oil in the hub itself. That way you guys, so the, the book calls for packing the bearings with grease. I'm not going to do that because that'll technically contaminate the uh, gear oil in the system. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use a little bit of assembly lube here just to put the races bearings on and, or the bearings over the uh, spindle here. And then I'm going to actually kind of like ang try to angle it without putting the front bearing in, squirt a little bit of gear oil in it. And then I'm going to put the front bearing in, which I actually already did on the other side. And then I'm going to put the front bearing in and the nut on. And then not so much that it's going to leak out, but enough that when I start to spin it, it'll get some gear oil in there. Because there is going to be constant gear oil flow in this hub. Anyways, it's a continuous flow. So you don't need to actually grease them. Uh, if you want to go buy the OEM book, you can. Uh, you're not going to hurt anything. I just don't want to do that. Uh, that's a personal preference kind of idea. So first things first. Actually here we're going to take our hub. We're going to lay it down flat on the surface like so. Angle the camera so you guys can see that. Kind of like so. And then I'm going to take my 8 bolts. Put them here next to it along with this one right here and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the rotor on so the rotor is going to go like so on the kit just like this you're going to hand start your nuts or your bolts on here all 
right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this process up so you guys can see what it looks like after. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh. And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh. Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders Alright, so now that we have our rotor on our hub We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our mounting bracket on All right, so I'm putting mine on the rear So I'm gonna put my two bolts in here and my mounting bracket on right here And then I'm gonna push the hub on And then I'll show you guys what it looks like after that front bearing in you can see I got a little bit of drip coming out here and then we have our caliper mounting bracket on back here so I'm gonna go ahead put this nut on and you torque this down to hundred and twenty foot-pounds and then you back it off a third of a turn for your tolerance and your bearings in your hub uh, just like OEM no different than OEM by the book so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this threaded on there started and then we're gonna put our torque wrench on it torque it down and you guys can see how that goes Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So go behold, frost all right, so I have it set up this way. That way you guys can see what the angle looks like and how I uh, show or justify which is my one third of a turn. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna torque it down. This might take a second because you get you can get it hand tight, but for that nylon portion there for the lock nut. Obviously, it's too too tough to do it by hand, or at least it is for me. Maybe you guys, some of you guys, can do that. I don't know, but there I'm hitting decent. Okay, so I'm gonna come in, click. All right, and then I'm gonna switch it directions. And there's about halfway on the circle, and I'm gonna come up. There is a quarter, one third. Pull it off, do a check. Spins nice and freely. No crazy, little crazy movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tighten it just a little bit, but nothing crazy.
You want it to have a little bit of play right there. See how freely that spins? Spins nice and smooth. All right, I'm just gonna spin it around a couple times, kind of get that gear oil moving around in there. Nothing too crazy. No side to side play. Just a touch of back and back, which is what you want for your 10 thou tolerance. All right, you should feel a little bit of back and forth, but nothing crazy. That's the OEM way. All right, so now that we got that on there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our axle in. And we're gonna keep turning a few times, kind of get that fluid going around in there. And then we're gonna mount up our caliper. So for the axle, I'm just gonna pull this bad boy out. I put that in there to keep any dirt from getting in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean all this up right here. All right, clean this a little bit right here. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of the good stuff here. My gaskets are good, but just in case, I'm gonna put a little bit of the good stuff right here. Then I'm gonna put the axle back in here. It's pretty simple, just tighten these boys up and then you're good to go. So I'll put that in there, I'm gonna button that up. You guys will see in the video how that goes in. It's pretty straightforward and then you bolt it up same as OEM. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see what the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low all right, what's going on guys? Sorry my camera cut off when I was torquing those down a torque wrench. No, I did not do it to impact. All right, but as you can see here, we have our axle bolted in. All right, and now we're ready for our caliper. And that is all that will be left. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into that. Uh, it's pretty simple. You got your two bolts here and your caliper. All right, so you're basically, there's four springs on each side and then you have the cotter pin that goes through to put your caliper together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, take one of our bolts apart. Pretty simple stuff here. Just like any other break everybody's ever done. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just go slide that bad boy in there. Line it up with your bolt, bam. Sixteenths, along with our nut, thread that bad boy on. Build up until I can't hear that my mind fills. Give it a little loose. Take our other bottom one. Go ahead, put it in. All right, now since that's in and on, we don't need any wiggle room. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish tightening up our top one. Get that nice and snug. Go here and do our bottom one. All right, that is what it looks like with the caliper on. Uh, as you can see here, looks pretty good. All right, um, this is for the parking brake. We're gonna take that off. This kit does not come with a parking brake and is recommended for off-road use only. However, you choose to do with what you choose to do with, I guess. Just don't blame me for it because I told you it's off-road use only. Uh, there is an e-brake option that's going to be coming soon. It's actually going to mount to the other side here on the back side, and then there's going to be a parking brake 
on the front here. It'll be uh, external parking brake, but it's going to be good for almost 30,000 pounds. So you should be fine because it will be going on both sides. So you'll have a dual parking brake just like factory. Um, now, if you guys like this today's video, please be sure to go down, like, comment, subscribe down below, comment what you might think of this kit. And if you want to purchase this kit or even enter for the raffle off we have going off until September 30th, 2023, go ahead, hit that link, buy a product, get five entries for this kit to put on your wonderful truck. And this is how you put the kit on. Super easy, all, like I said, all bolt on, no welding, super quick. And it takes 70 pounds of the rotating mass off alone so that helps a little bit of performance better braking and on top of that it's actually fairly inexpensive from the other conversion kits out there and a lot easier to put on and i hope you guys like that uh i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and don't have too much fun with it